Well, that was extremely lucky. Gary Kirsten. That's a good stroke by Kirsten. That'll run away for four. Nicely timed, and isn't it always the case? As a bowler, you have your man put down and then get struck for four. Pulled away, this will be four. Quickly onto that, Andrew Hudson, just a fraction short. He's got him. That's a big neck. Prasad, Rudy Kutsen has given his first decision in Test Match Cricket. And uh, Andrew Hudson is on his way. And that's a very, very good dismissal by Prasad. South Africa, one for 37. Some good bowling by this uh, youngster throughout the morning. He's been bowling very well uh, right from the first test match and here also like uh, it wasn't too wide and things like it was close to Hudson and I think the bounce did it here more than anything. It's of course a typical left hander strength and delivery just a little bit wide and uh, won't just reach the boundary. Good piece of fielding. That's been end up getting a comfortable three. His hand, that's a good sign. A little bit fortunate again from Gary Kirsten, but it's raced away to the uh, third man boundary. That really is a beautiful shot, and that's the Gary Kirsten that a lot of South Africa have seen before, and he's in really good form. It's very well. This is away for four, down to third man. He was looking maybe to hit it slightly. But we saw there in this over, Bacher quite happy to drive, and he does again. And this time he hits it where he wanted to hit the last one, and it's four through the covers. Lovely shot. This is going to possibly be four runs, square away on the onside. It went very quickly past the short leg. Played into the covers, and it just gets through. He won't go to the boundary, but they'll be able to get three. Well, this might be four more, but a little fortuitously, because there was some bounce there for Srinath, and he certainly didn't have control of the shot. Iving, wicketkeeper. Well, that really is a fine shot. Now, India have got two men behind square, but... Uh, Perhaps not as deep as he should be, the one that uh, that ball went over the top of. That's another over. And that's a big shot from the Indians, and he's gone. Oh, that's a very, very, very good piece of bowling from uh, Srinath. He's been testing Adam Baka. Adam Baka's been in two minds. I said before, he's a natural hooker. He hasn't really known how to not play the short ball. And uh, at the time, just edging it through to Nain Mongia, who uh, does the rest. And that certainly is a sign of inexperience because uh, an experienced batsman would have let the short balls go knowing that uh, Srinath would probably bowl another over or so before he is given a spell. But Adam Bakar, young, enthusiastic, has had a go. He's just got a thin snick. It's a good stroke, four runs. Doesn't need to run. Sweet part of the bat. That's a good stroke, that'll be four. That's vintage Cullinan, that's uh, his area. If you give him just a little bit of width, he's very, very strong. That's his 50, with a boundary. So 50 runs to Gary Kirsten in 168 minutes, and just 107 balls, and that was his seventh boundary of the innings. To a forward short leg position. He's got that fine curse center to run away for four. Nicely played. Well, there you are. Confidence personified. Darrell Cullinan, this one, the meat of the bat. A wonderful drive, extra cover, four runs. Just a little bit of width uh, given to Daryl Cullinan uh, by uh, Ganesh. He's been very accurate so far. 
And that's nicely played by uh, Gary Kirsten. He waited for the ball to come onto the bat and then just opened the face of the bat to hit it wide off the backward point for a boundary. Gary Kirsten suddenly has accelerated uh, with five or six minutes to go before the tee interval. Stroked away beautifully. No longer 92, it's 96. Again, vintage Gary Kirsten. Bowling by Saro Ganguly. And he went for it and he succeeded. And that's his century. And Newlands goes berserk. It's his home crowd. He's delighted and so are they. Everyone on their feet, without exception, including his captain and his manager. Here's trouble. Here's trouble. Here's trouble. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What a way to get out. What and off a no ball, can you believe it? You can only be run out off a no ball. You can't be out in any other way. And Gary Kirsten, in this mess up, is dismissed. That's the only way that looked like getting him out. Great fielding by Mohamed Azruddin. Good collection from Nayan Mongyan. Very good thinking, he rolled the ball towards Saurav Ganguly made no mistake. And Gary Kirsten far, far away, not even in the picture. South Africa losing their third wicket on 203. And he picked up very nicely off his legs and uh, it should be four all the way. It's a long chase for Zaruddin. And he really uh, picked up very nicely from outside the off stump and uh, it's a big six actually. It was and you don't bowl short to Hensi or any to South African uh, batsman if you're only bowling medium pace. And this time again uh, he made a mistake and goal to bowl short and Hensi is very very strong of the back foot. That's a very fine shot by the South African captain. The ball just uh, straying on leg side a little bit. And uh, because it's such a nice wicket here at Newlands. That was cut very late. And carried all the way to the fence, but it doesn't. It's cut off just in time. The batsman safely through for three. Was that a tickle? A loud appeal by Venkatesh Prasad, and that's out. So says the umpire, Cullinan, is extremely surprised. He decides to walk back without much of a show there of anger. Tries a slower one. Macmillan gets to it in time. Not very well timed, but three runs nevertheless. And that'll run away for four. Struck away, that's four more. The new ball races off the bat this time of day. Or it seems to, because the bowlers are just a little bit more tired. Driven away through the covers by McMillan. Not all the way by any manner of means, but he'll certainly get two. Let it go purely because of where his back foot landed, and this might be out. Yes, it is. Hansi Kronje happy to go. So enough of the back foot and the front foot rules. Kronje undone by the short pitch ball down the leg side, just gets a little glove on it, I think. And Mongia in the game again for the fifth time. Four catches, there it is. 
Mongia cleans up at the back. You can see how uncomfortable Hansi Kronia was. He played it very, very awkwardly. And he's gone for 41. Oh, and that one goes past Gully. Kumble did seem to get a hand to that. That was hit very sharply at Newlands, but the clouds threatening. They are hovering around. And that's what you don't want. A nice, simple, straightforward chance for Sachin Tendulkar. And Sean Pollock goes. That's exactly what happened in the last ball of the last over. And uh, Prasad bowling brilliantly to get rid of Sean Pollock. This time comfortably to the waist of Sachin Tendulkar. And uh, for a change, no mistake there in the Indian side, Maninda. That's a beautiful delivery again. Pollock flirting with it. And thank you very much, says Sachin Tendulkar. In the last over, the one that fell short this time. Sean Pollock gone for 1-6 for 229. 299. What a good shot there by Brian McMillan. Neil Kumble dragging that one down. And McMillan very quickly onto the back foot. He's got an excellent technique, Brian McMillan. The gap perfectly. Half volley smashed away by Dave Richardson. Prasad managing to get a hand down, but didn't get enough purchase on. Runs here, and it'll probably be four. He won't pick that one up. Too fine. Ganesh straying down the leg side. The wind just pushing it even further. Now that was too wide, and uh, this one he does put away. Waiting for the loose delivery, and seized on it immediately. And away, just back with a square for four. Now full toss, hit straight down the ground, four runs. Great shot this, late cut, not many players play it in the modern game, and he's going to get four for it. Not a bad delivery this. Lovely footwork, Dave Richardson. Down the wicket. A man out there. Looks like pr the same Prasad that we were talking about. Swept away. Very fine. It might not me reach the boundary and won't. Fielded back there. And a good throw in, but two runs today. Seems to be moving quite well. Running quite well. Look at that quick uh, run that he's taken. And once again, uh, this is the aspect of the Indian field. That's a beautiful stroke. They needn't run for that. Nicely picked up off his legs. A rare pull delivery from Venkatesh Prasad. And That's nicely timed. That'll go for four. So a good over for South Africa this. 3.80 now for six. That's it away. We're asking whether it's not. I was about to say we can't see the fine leg fielder. Asking whether it was four or six. In fact, it's caught. Hit it very, very hard and very flat. So to a degree, you can almost say it was a bit unlucky. Jeva Gosselin has got a wry sort of grin because it wasn't intended bouncer. I don't think it was a long hop, which Richardson picked up. Yeah, he timed it well, but unfortunately, he went straight into. Uh fielders that he finally he was the only one uh, feeling over there but the moment the ball went in there one could hear uh, Srinath catch him and this one he pulled it uh, nicely quickish delivery he picked it very early and it's a very strong uh, back foot player he never missed an opportunity edged for four I say edged we'll have to inspect it again an idea why that extra slip's gone in there. Well, I told you he liked to hit it. He certainly hit that. Yes, a good stroke, uh, although his back foot goes uh, whiffed. And uh, but this is a different wicket over here. But he edged it, but uh, safely there was no third man, no gully, and uh, it didn't go where he intended to hit.
Driven. Four more. That's a good shot. But uh, so far playing a far more subdued sedate and, and, a, and a good knock. That one smacked it into the ground. <laughs> Go between mid wickets and long on for four. The fieldsmen were in. And that's very well struck by Brian McMillan. And that's been dealt with in a savage manner by Lance Klosner. Sachin Tendulkar and Monge is down. He's taking a compulsory count. He's obviously been hit by a bail that flew off the wicket when the ball underarmed from Tendulkar hit the stumps. Well, looking at that from close up, at least there's no blood and it doesn't appear that there's any serious cut. What could have happened though is that he has blurred vision and that certainly needs treatment. High and handsome, Klusner hits this. This is up in the stand. Beautiful stroke. There's always, of course, a chance of a run out in these circumstances. Eagerness to get up the other end. Klusner's gone. Have I got it right? We're asking for it. The bales are off. Klusner now on 83. Uh, make that 89. What a great hit that. Oh, that was another club by Lance Klusner. You heard Robin Jackman saying that he will never be described as an elegant uh, left-hander. But gee, when he hits it, it certainly stays hit. He's a very strong man. Well, Klusner's certainly going to take on the challenge. That moves him to 98 with that boundary. It's another magnificent shot, and there it is. That's probably the shot of the innings. And as he picks up his bat and waves towards the change room, the crowd are absolutely delighted. So that really is a magnificent hundred of 102 deliveries in innings. And that's a boundary to start. No man down there at third man, so India off the mark. Raman also off the mark. And love to bat on this wicket because he's a guy who plays very straight and they get into position uh, very early and uh, here is off the mark straight away he didn't uh, time it as well as he should have but uh, useful two runs for it there's a thick side edge firm stroke and there's no man at third one so it might just carry all the way to the fence it does sort of gangly uh, played in fairly assured fashion that time Well played to mid-wicket. Good timing there, and they will take two, but I suspect they will not risk the third. Or do they? Well, as long as they don't do a Raman. Ganguly's not very quick on his feet either. But... Sort of Ganguly on strike. Round one to Ganguly. Looked very close. He probably had his feet inside when he stopped it, inside the ropes. Down at this stage. Yeah! Well, one spoke too soon. I did, didn't I? And I said also that he might uh, end up getting a wicket with a bad ball, while the earlier one was well planned. Yeah! Well, the Indian batsmen have got everything wrong today. That single that was unnecessary, Venkatesh Prasad certainly not equipped to face under this terribly strenuous circumstances, a man like Paul Adams bowling with his tail up. Well, so the night watchman is gone, the third Indian wicket is gone. Well, he didn't pick that one, did he? And look at Paul Adams doing the somersault, uh, but at the moment it looks like the Indian innings uh, is uh, upside down. 
Three wickets gone. Uh, it's called for. Beautiful stroke. Beautiful, beautiful stroke. Bend, that's good. Out, caught McMillan. What a start for South Africa. And desperation for India. Four down now, and just what they did not want. Perhaps uh, that boundary that he'd hit off the previous ball made Ganguly just a trifle overconfident because he tried to push at that delivery he would have been better off leaving it look at it he's trying to push at it pushing when four fielders are there to catch is really a no-win situation as Ganguly has found out a simple enough catch to the big man Brian McMillan and that's a big blow for India the one left-hander in their team gone for 23 oh, that'll be four you can't bowl there to Sachin Tendulkar or Mohamed Azridin. Oh, that one takes the outer edge. It goes between uh, second slip and third slip for four runs. So Lakshman living a little dangerously. He had one fly over the slips a few hours ago against. Oh, oh and umpire Darrell here declares that out. Previous Lakshman fended it off towards fine leg. Uh, it got some part of the body, something or the other. Um, wicket keeper Dave Richardson dived to his left, took a clean catch, and Daryl Hare had no hesitation. The crowd is going wild here. Sean Pollock picks up a wicket this morning. India reeling. That's played through the cordon. Very controlled, very nice, very confident. And Sachin Tendulkar has been looking exactly that all morning. Ah, a slow one to Mohammad Azruddin. He picked it up quite easily. And that was no problem for four. And uh, Indians must be hoping that Tendulkar keeps his cool, keeps his nerves. Nicely sent out his square leg. And will they try for three? Now they don't need to, so they won't. And perishing as well. A pole there. Ah, oh, he connected well. Four runs to mid-wicket. Great stroke. Well, that certainly was a little bit lucky for Tendulkar. That time, Lance Klusner getting his line right. And that is a magnificent shot. It's one of the hardest shots in the book to play, that uh, on drive off the quick bowler. Yeah. Over pitch by Adams and Tendulkar once again just leaning onto it. And that was a good exhibition of timing yet again. Chased by two fielders this time, the two opening bats. Hudson wins the race. Tendulkar goes through for three runs. So Tendulkar playing very nicely at the moment. And that's his 50 as well. India 5 for 113. Now this is four runs. It was airborne. It's the second time he's got four down to third man where the ball has been in the air, but he's gone through shot. And he'll get a couple here now. Down to a fine leg position. Yes, that's precisely the thing. Bottom hand. Lovely shot. Well, on that I was fully expecting, and it's maximum. The rest. And uh, Mohammad Azaruddin straight away taking advantage of that. Once more down the same area, Sunil. Yes, he loves that onside, and anything loose there, he's not going to hang about. And a full toss. Two on the onside and one wide or mid off. Backward of point, four more. Thank you, says Tendulkar. Very precisely placed. Four runs to him now. Remember, Azar got off this uh, got off to a start after lunch with four. And again, there was just a short grimace from Alan Donald earlier. Fast bowler, especially Alan Donald, doesn't like to be hit for. Azar continuing from very left off, magnificently driven through the covers. 
Yes, it beats uh, Paul Adams and that's four more. Finding exactly the same spot that he had um, struck that earlier four. Azar have been too wide on the onside. That backward of point again. It's very interesting. That's uh, two boundaries backward of point. One through covers. Two wide on the offside. That's uh, just around the extra cover region. Two on. There wasn't much room between the gully and uh, point. Paul Adams has no chance at all. As another boundary. And The outfield is quick, but not quick enough. The, no, it does get, get past the fielder. So another boundary from Azaruddin, and this time once more. Oh, that was very well done. Timing it, going on the back foot, leaning back, and four runs, third man. Dean blazing away. Now going over the top of slips for a boundary the ball fairly racing away to the boundary Azaruddin is not going to let go of those deliveries from what an explosive half hour this has been and it looks like continuing as Azaruddin smashes that in the air but wide a mid off for four more that's a beautiful 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 stroke I've never seen many players playing this stroke as good as Sachin Oh, what a magic stroke. Right hand over left. Four from the moment that it left the bat. That's it. That won't be dragged back by Adam Bucker. And a brilliant, brilliant hundred from the Indian captain. What a great inning uh, from Indian captain. I think the team was looking forward to such an inning from the captain. And what a way to score his hundred when things with uh, the chips were down. Zardin in fine form. And that will be his hundred. A wonderful effort by Mohammad Azaruddin. Streaky, a life or two. But the crowd probably loved his innings. We certainly did. And Mohammad Azaruddin saluting the crowd. Everybody. We're a very knowledgeable crowd here at Newlands. They really enjoy good cricket. And that really is a superb hundred of only 96 deliveries. So. Not very well timed, but it will carry all the way through to the fence at mid-wicket. And Azar pulls Alan Donald, who is not amused. for shown plenty today. Full toss, put away to mid-wicket once again. That was a bad ball by Alan. And uh, Azruddin is in such fine form that he had little difficulty in putting it away for another four. Else is in store. Well, that really is an absolutely glorious shot by Tendulkar. Sean Pollock over pitching just a fraction, not by much. Big swing there by Mohammad Azuddin. It will clear the man who is well up at mid on. And another four to the blaster from India. That's what we must. Cross batted that from well outside the off stump. That'll go through for four to long on. And that was the only way it looked as if this partnership uh, could have been uh, separated. Azaruddin cutting a ball and going for a, a run. Not realizing that the South African fielders throw themselves about. So this was a run towards another fielder perhaps, but not a South African fielder. Diving to his left, getting his hands together and running Azaruddin. But he has played a marvellous innings, 115 of 110 balls. That's a brilliant stroke from Sachin Tendulkar. Doesn't miss many opportunities. He's really concentrated very, very hard. After that pull shot off the back foot, uh, an exquisite extra cover drive from... A silly point on a forward short leg. 
That's out. That was good attacking cricket, and there's that skip from um, Paul Adams. Mongia is gone. Good captaincy that from Hansi Cronier. Out, caught Richardson, bowled Donald. 315 for eight. Not happy. He's making a very, very slow departure. We'll see why in a minute. Gee, what an unbelievable stroke from the Indian captain. Alan Donald screaming in with a new ball. Slightly overpitched, and Tendorka just dispatches that to the boundary. And that brings up his 150. 150. Srinath taking on Pollock, and that really is a fine shot. Short ball from Pollock. And uh, to pull a man of uh, his, uh, his pace in... And he's got him. First delivery from Pollock around the wicket. And Srinath just looking to take the bat away at the last minute, getting inside edge. And it's one of the most miserable ways to get out, chopping the ball onto your stumps. But that's a good breakthrough for South Africa. And uh, Srinath, the big quick baller, is on his way. That one certainly didn't. Magnificent shot again. Gee, we've been spoiled today by the Tindorka cover drives, that's for sure. What a catch. And just like we saw the run out of Azaruddin out to an extraordinary piece of fielding by Andrew Hudson. This time it is young Adam Baka who's plucked the catch out of thin air to get rid of the Indian captain. It's only the extraordinary South African fielding which has got rid of the two century makers. Mamad Azaruddin run out. And Brian McMillan pitching it short. And look at that catch. Plucked out of thin air. It's got to be one of the greatest catches seen ever in Test cricket. And Sachin Tendulkar cannot believe it. Generous round of applause for the Indian captain. 169. And he's taken the Indian team out of the danger of following. Tendulkar Nazaruddin. India could have been in trouble. It's a very convincing off drive. Absolutely perfectly timed. Oh, yes. Now, this could be very, very close, and he's given it. This is a big moment for young Ganesh. Uh, it's his first. He has been given the new ball ahead of Venkatesh Prasad. Game of cricket, suddenly after a team scores 529. Oh, there's a big appeal there and he's out. Well, Kishore, you said it. And I hope uh, from an Indian point of view, you keep saying it. Because Adam Backer for once, not really moving forward. And the day's first boundary. And that is gone. A nice simple catch at mid-wicket. Of course, he did have to move a little further back, the fielder there. And a big breakthrough for India right in the third over of the day. That's wonderful news for Indian fans. Lance Klusner, who did so much damage in the first innings, back for only 12 this time. Oh, a crackling <laughs> square cut there, four runs. Daryl Cullinan begins in style. He Pulled away. This time he has got hold of it. Earlier on, he pulled it down and safely, but... Hit at hard, edged, but high. And safe. Magnificent shot by Daryl Cullinan. And we've been really spoiled with the driving off the front foot in particular. Good shot from Hudson. Didn't quite go where he wanted to go. But he's going to get a boundary. Oh, 
This is four runs. That'll be four more. One of his favourite shots. Sometimes criticised for laying back too much when he plays it. We saw him the very first ball that he faced today smash on away in similar fashion. And straight into his aggression goes Cullinan. He's played a very rapid innings of 50 and that's four more. Get as much uh, out there in the middle as possible. Oh. And he's bowled him. Daryl Cullinan giving himself just a little bit of room to try and hit it on the offside. Almost half folly length, missing it completely. And Anil Kumble at last has got a wicket. He doesn't seem to be a very happy man. Srinath has done it again. He's got the breakthrough, making South Africa 133 from 5. Hudson gone. And uh, let's see where the match goes from here on. Getting a wicket. This one was shortish. Not exactly a wicket taking delivery, but Hudson dragging the ball onto his thumbs. And isn't Srinath happy? And that's how he should be because he's really bowled well uh, throughout the two test matches that we've seen so far. Andrew Hudson's gone. And South Africa are 133 for five. That's a good shot. Pulled away by Kronje, Sernath testing him out as he did in the first innings, unable to get the ball to bounce. Let's play down for four. I think the problem with uh, Hensi is not uh, that he's giving room or trying to give. Brilliantly, brilliantly caught. Just turning it on the onside, middle of the wicket, middle of the bat, I should say. And Raul Dravid pounces at forward short leg. Great catch. Uh, you can't see a better catch feeling it forward short leg. Come on. Hooked away and in the gap between the two men back, the fine leg and the deep backward square leg, virtually bisected them to... And again, finer this time, four more. Well, this is getting just a little bit of ex expensive uh, for the Indian team. In the second essay. And it's as if Sean Pollock is showing Brian McMillan, that's the way to play that shot. W. Raman, not a regular bowler for India. So this is a half slog, half sweep. The only indication that the fielding side has is to go by the, the size of the blows, like this one. And batsmen start playing absolutely relaxed cricket there. Donald Tamongia. Out, bowled him out. Off stump goes back. South Africa make the first inroads into the Indian second innings. I think it just beat him for pace, Mahinda. That was a quick delivery from Donald. Pulled away. And four runs wonderful effort from Alan Donald that's a very good shot indeed from Raul Dravid putting Lance Klusner in front of square but here Raman has to be very careful whenever he's going for a quick single that's well played along the ground through that uh, gully region they're not running hard and that's once again a very ordinary piece of running they might get three they certainly should have got three well, that's very disappointing indeed. I think there was a definite three there, and... Uh... Oh, it almost got to the hand of the fielder there. Once again, Dravid hooking, but not accurately. They do rush across for two, but Dravid could... 
That was earlier. And Raman has perished to Sean Pollock. Again, dabbling outside the off stump. A clean catch for Dave Richardson. And India, two wickets down now for only 26. Well, a lazy shot from uh, W.B. Raman. Way outside the off stump. He could have left it. Well. India's cause. Straight away, Ganguly hooks. And that's four at square leg. There's only a man at fine leg. Nobody deep it. Driven straight down and firmly enough to fetch four. Length. Long hop and umpire gives that out. Rahul Dravid looks disappointed and he should be. That was a rank bad ball and Dravid is out for a score. Not befitting a batsman of his caliber. Only 12 runs for Rahul Dravid and India are now 44 for three. This is a lovely shot. He just leant into this and it's fairly skipped away to the boundary. In the air, Klusner under it and out. Well, 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 what a blow for India. Elation for South Africa. And it's early days, but that just might be game set and match. Yes, a very, very big blow for India, this one. Sachin Tendulkar has caught out to the pull shot uh, previously. Out! Caught Hudson, bold Donald. Hero dear. Big problems now, Sanil. Well, he's declared his intentions so that he is going to play positively. And in such a situation, he's not going to always score runs. Absolutely no wrong flourish about that shot. Very cleanly played between Gully and uh, Fox Slip. The batsmen perhaps don't agree, but there's a lovely shot there from Lakshman. That's going to fetch four runs. How many changed that uh, shot at the last split second? Oh, that was magnificently played. Yes, it makes it to the boundary. Well deserved for runs. And there's still nothing wrong in the wicket. The wicket is playing beautiful. And another one outside the Austin slashing and straight into Macklin's hand. Well, we just mentioned the name Brian McMillan. And once again, he just does the job for South Africa. Holding a relatively simple catch a second step. None of them are easy. And Sean Pollock is the man that sends Ganguly on his way. And uh, the South Africans are pretty happy with the way things have gone this morning. He's disappointed, of course, as you can see there. But uh, he stuck it out for some time. That kept a bit low. And he waited for it nicely and dispatched it because it was just too short through mid-wicket for four. Famous landmark of Cape Town. As we see, a full toss delivered up here by Adams. And uh, it's put away through the covers very nicely indeed. And very well bowled again. This one not tossed as high as the previous deliveries. But tempting Kumble to go for the drive. Kumble getting just a thin snick. Nicely driven by VVS Lakshman. Got him. And that's Ganesh gone. Eight Indian wicket gone. 121 for eight India and disaster just around the corner. Well, you don't expect uh, Ganesh to hang in there. You had a very good temperament, Robin. And this is what India needed here. And this time, came of the front foot and played very nicely through the covers. And if he learns to play a short rising delivery properly, well, 
<clears throat> you don't know what a big moment that is for Dave Richardson. This is first stumping in Test cricket. Over a hundred victims who finally gets the stumping. That's almost headline news. India, nine down now for 144. And played uh, very gritty inning in the second inning, although he was hit a uh, number of times on his helmet, but he just uh, hung around. And that's the way I think one has to occupy the crease if one has to survive and score runs at the highest level. All in all, though, Jimmy, a pretty... Look, uh, ...on the technique, Robin, because uh, he's fine. Uh, they're a good player of the front foot, but when it comes to play short rising delivery or short delivery outside Austin, they're not really moving into position as much as they should be. That's uh, one of the reasons that they're playing too much away from their body. And sometimes I think they're playing too many strokes. They're trying to push it too hard. That's not the right way to do when you want to occupy the crease. I think the best way, when if you can't uh, score runs, the best thing is to play close to your body. And the problem with them, because when they're pushing outside the Austin, they won't get many runs because the field, uh, fielders are already there.